Welcome to your museum from home. I'm Monica Vniski, the High's new curator of decorative arts and design, and I'm here to talk to you about a work in the museum's collection. Contemporary fiber artist and Atlanta resident John Eric Reese's Freedom's Price from 2005 has always struck me as important. Reese finished school during the turbulent late 1960s while the Vietnam War was still raging, and I think this made quite an impression on the artist and cemented an anti-war stance that is manifested in his work. Formally, we can see the camouflage exterior executed flawlessly as a handwoven tapestry using beautiful metallic threads, albeit using a pink desert palette as opposed to the usual army green camouflage. And so here's one clue that the exterior belies an unexpected interior. In the case of Freedom's Price, that includes an illusionistic rendering of red blood, on top of which a Gothic scripted sign reading, quote, home sweet home, really suggests otherwise. This work was created at the beginning of the Iraq War, and the tapestry, which I believe can be read as an object of activist craft, explores the tension between the home front and the refuge that we as civilians find in the military. I think works like this are important as catalysts to discuss social and political topics such as war, peace, and as the artist asks in this work, what exactly is the price of freedom?